public libraries are known for their great programs and resources, but one Seattle library is specially designed to serve residents who can't read standard print. So here to talk to us more about the impact that's having on our community is Danielle Miller from the Washington Talking Book and Braille Library and Camille Jasny, a library patron. How are you guys? Great. You women, rather, Thank I should you. say. Um, Camille, what resources do you use at the library? Well, I love their books on the little cartridges. Danielle's holding one of the, mm -hmm. what I use a lot, or I get it downloaded on my um, iPhone. But the books, it's like listening to a play. I've been doing this for over 30 years, and it's I, once I could not read anymore, I found that this has been the, even more fun to listen to a book. And it so, brings it to life in a different oh, way, right? so wonderful. And at night, I can't sleep. I just have earplugs, and I <laughs> plug it in. And the only problem is I lose where I am after a while. <laughs> but it's a wonderful program. And then I do the yoga for people that are blind and low vision. That's which amazing. It's twice a month, which is fabulous. So it's it's just a great, it's a, it's a, and it's a nice community of people. So I helped start a book group 14 years ago at the downtown library. And with the help of the Washington Talking Book and Braille Library, they recorded everything on one of the cartridges. So all the books, all 12 books are on one cartridge. So and that's all you get, have to have. Yeah, we get together once a month and we discuss the book and we all listen to books on cartridges or iPhones. What a great place to yeah. meet people, build community, and to have these books available. Can oh, you show me great. how the talking book works? Sure. <laughs> so the books that we have are, uh, we call them digital talking books or audio okay. books. They're on a cartridge. Oh, that's interesting. It's really flash memory. And we loan out. <laughs> Egan uh, wants to help. Egan wants, Egan wants to read. Uh, we loan out digital talking book players to all our patrons who want them. They're loaned out for free. You keep them as long as you want. And then the digital talking book just goes in the front of the player. So super simple. So it's very way. simple to use. Um, all the keys will actually talk to you and mm -hmm. teach you how to use the player. Um, they're all defined differently in color and shape. And the book just starts playing, and mm -hmm. it's all human narration. You can adjust mm -hmm. the speed and the tone. It's got great volume. You can plug it in, or it's got long battery life. And as Camille said, for the book group, we put all 12 books so on one wonderful. cartridge for them to have for the whole year. That's yeah. amazing. Danielle, this probably opens up a world to people that you oh. see coming into the library. It yes. absolutely does. Oh. Yeah, it can be life-changing for people mm -hmm. who've lost their vision. They can keep reading. They can keep connected. Yes. They can be sharing books with their friends, mm -hmm. stay connected with their community. It can be mm -hmm. a source of health and well-being. Mm -hmm. It can be research. It can be education. It can just be fun. Mm -hmm. and keep people going. The library is just the best. Yes, <laughs> yes. I well, love it. You're an artist, correct? I yes, And I so am. tell me how that's come into this whole program and what you've been able to share back. Well, it's been terrific. I've been doing art all my life and once I lost, as my vision kept going downhill, I had to reinvent how to do my art. So I make flowers out of, button, but, out of buttons and I call them button buds. And then I do tactile collage art. And I'm in a, a little group of artists and we actually decided to make a um, really beautiful um, three-tiered art piece. It's called Vista, uh, uh, Northwest, Northwest Vista, and it's, it's sky, it's mountains, it's land, and it's water, and it's all tactile. I don't put glass on anything. It's all tactile. So you can touch it. It's, you can it's appreciate just it. Fabulous. I hadn't even yeah. thought really about that. You know, thought all the way through about how you would continue your art, and then we were just looking at pictures of it, but yeah. how it can be appreciated simply yeah. by touching, as well. So that's pretty amazing. Um, what else is offered at the library that we need to know about? Yeah. So we have a lot of services we offer. The audio book are our most popular service mm -hmm. and they're available by mail it's a statewide service for anyone who can't read print so not only people who are blind or visually impaired but also for anyone who can't hold a book or turn mm -hmm. a page for any physical reason and or, let me just stop you real quick to yes. emphasize you said it's available by mail so you don't right. have to go somewhere and pick no. this absolutely up. So we nice. send the books and the equipment right to your doorstep right to your mailbox mm -hmm. anyone in Washington from you know infants early literacy all the way to our number of users who are well over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. And everything goes in the mail for free. So we send it for free and people can return their books and equipment by for free by mail. Wonderful. And we also Isn't have that? an app that works on mobile devices. <laughs> there's uh, an app for so that. there's an app for that. <laughs> exactly. So if someone is, you know, wants something different than the player, and we have braille books that also go by mail or mm -hmm. electronic downloads. And we have a large print collection for youth. We have a great youth services program. 
including a summer reading program, pen pal program. We do multi-sensory story times on Fridays in person at the library. And we also produce books at the mm -hmm. library. We have 11 recording studios where we produce wow. audiobooks. We have incredible volunteer narrators um, who are just phenomenal talent. And we also produce books in Braille. Mm -hmm. So we're adding to the national collection of books, making more and more available to people who can't read standard print. So increasing access to materials. It's amazing work. Um, it just, we have just a few seconds, but is there mm -hmm. uh, an opportunity for volunteers to come help with this oh, program? Yes, we, we really uh, rely on our volunteers. And on our website, you can learn more about volunteering. Um, there are opportunities to audition to be a narrator, to review audiobooks, to help in our circulation and shipping warehouse, to process books. Um, there are a number of opportunities people can learn more about. Awesome. We'll make sure we post that place. link. Thank you both very <laughs> Thank much. You. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Good Thank you. job. Just yeah, take yeah. it easy down there. <laughs>